a shocking moment at the Academy Awards is raising new awareness. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith slapped Chris Rock after he made a joke about Smith's wife. Jada Pinkett Smith shaved her head because of a condition which causes hair loss called alopecia. Our Esme Murphy spoke with some Minnesotans who know what it's all about. Among those reacting, 12-year-old Molly Steffel. She's had alopecia since third grade. I think that um, Will Smith could have done it in a different way, but I also feel like it's not okay to poke fun about any disease. She says Chris Rock's joke is like bullying she's experienced. It hurts. It hurts a lot. What was it like losing your hair when you're in third grade? For me, it was tragic because it set myself aside from everybody else, and it was a thing that you can't really hide. Tyrone Foliard Olson started losing his hair at 13. It's so much more of that mental, emotional, psychological impact. Foliard Olson, the human resources manager at WCCO TV, is on the board of the National Alopecia Areata Foundation. Some folks in my alopecia community uh, who are now telling their stories of, of how they have been the, the butt of jokes. Dermatologist Dr. Charles Crutchfield's son battled alopecia. But I tell patients, you are not alone. Hair loss is so common. Causes include genetics and stress. Crutchfield says while there's no cure, there are treatments. Sometimes you get to the point where there's not much you can do, but that's way down the road. You know, I'll throw everything at it but the kitchen sink if I can. And if I can get the kitchen sink off, well, I throw that too. Everyone we spoke with hopes this Hollywood showdown improves understanding. I'm hoping that people know more about alopecia and are more aware about it. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Today, the Alopecia Areata Foundation issued a statement saying alopecia is no joke. The group says nearly 7 million people in the United States are affected and 147 million people worldwide.